Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I filmed anything or uploaded any videos, but life's just been a little bit hectic lately. But I really wanted to get back in to filming and uploading um, a couple times a week. So that's my goal right now. So I just thought I would sit down and film a little something for you guys. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to film, but I thought I would do like an updated everyday makeup routine. I feel like lately for the past couple weeks, maybe like a month or so now, I've been wearing the exact same makeup, exact same makeup routine. Not every single morning because I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do decide to put on makeup, I have been using the exact same products. I haven't really been switching it up too much lately, so I thought I would just do a little bit of an updated everyday natural makeup look for you guys. Instead of me rambling on any longer, let's jump into the video. But I'm dying under all this hair. Whew. So first, I'm going to start off with my primer. By the way, my eyebrows, I already put them on. They're looking a little not the same today but we'll roll with it it's okay so for the primer i'm going to be using of course the coconut skin smoothie primer by first aid beauty this is this is still my go-to primer that hasn't changed please ignore my awful looking nails i do apologize sorry i just had to move my hair out of my face and drive me bonkers so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. It's the Dewy and Smooth. One and I have the shade 130 Buff Beige. I really like this foundation. It's just like an everyday foundation that has really nice coverage. And it covers what I need it to cover without looking cakey or anything like that. And it does leave... It does leave a little bit of a dewy finish, but it's not too wet looking, if that makes sense. I think this shade right now is actually a little dark for me, but that's okay. My skin has actually been pretty good lately, so I don't really have any blemishes that I really need to cover up that are that can't be covered up with the foundation. Whenever I edit these videos when I'm putting on my foundation it honestly is like feels like it's like 15 minutes of me just pouncing this damn beauty blender on my face doing it. It doesn't feel like it's taking me that long but when I step back and I watch the footage I honestly feel like it's never gonna end. So for concealer I'm going to use the Born This Way, the Naturally Radiant Concealer. Mine's in the shade Very Fair. I'm not going to do too much highlighting, I'm just going to do a little bit under the eyes. Like the, I'm not going to do my forehead or anything, I don't want anything too crazy, I just want a little bit of extra brightness under my eye. Eyes. So if I'm being honest, typically I don't set my entire face. I never really have. I don't really have issues with being oily or anything like that because I am more on the dry side. So I usually just will set where I put my concealer, so underneath my eyes. Today, we're normally I'd like on my chin, around my nose kind of thing. So for powder, I'm going to be using the Airspun powder. Mine is the translucent extra coverage one but I really like this powder I think it helps with creasing and it definitely helps my makeup stay on longer for my ooh, I just breathe that in my skin being as dry as it is I don't find that this dries it out at all and I feel like I've always had that, do you mind? 
I feel like I've always had that fear that if I use too much powder I'm gonna look cakey or it's going to dry out my skin even more and make it flake which I don't want to happen it's not cute but this definitely doesn't dry out my skin at all and if I ever had to use it like all over my face I definitely would use this so next we're going to bronze up the face a little bit I don't usually do any contouring on a regular basis just because I don't feel like it's necessary when I'm just trying to do a quick natural makeup look once up the skin I'm going to use the bare minerals invisible bronze mine's in the shade fair to light um, clearly I've been loving this one so I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush here I'm just gonna go around like the perimeters of my face just to warm it up a little bit I feel like even if you have a heavy hand you won't overdo this product on your face because I tend to have a heavy hand sometimes when it comes to bronzer because I really really like bronzer it's probably one of my favorite face products please don't mind how scraggly and awful my hair looks it's been a hot day a hot long day next I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of blush and I'm going to use luminoso by Milani this probably is my all-time go-to blush there's just something about it just gives you a nice little flush on the cheek it's really really beautiful and this is the highlight I've been obsessed with it's the it's one of the baked highlighters I believe from elf it's in the shade Apricot Glow. I've been wearing this every single day. I've been obsessed with it. A little bit definitely goes a long way with this product. And it's super affordable. I think it only was $3, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Wow, my eyebrows are looking awful right now. But you have good brow days and you have bad brow days. And today is definitely a bad brow day. Now I don't wear eyeliner all the time. Only sometimes if I'm feeling it. Diva. But if I do use eyeliner, I usually just do a thin line. Like on my top lash line, nothing too crazy. I still can't do a wing. Surprise, surprise. But I will learn. But I use this one. All the writing has worn off of it because I've had it for so long. But I believe this is the liner from NYC. It's like the black liquid liner. It looks like this. So I have a mustache. I don't think I'm going to put on any liner today, but this is just one of my favorites. And finally, I think this is the final step anyway, I'm going to do mascara. And I recently just purchased the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And I'm obsessed with it. It's one of the best mascaras I've ever used. I mean, I just really, really, really love this. It makes you look like you're wearing falsies. And I struggle to put on false, false lashes on a daily. So this is a lifesaver for me. That's just one coat of mascara compared to this eye that has none on it. It just makes you look so much more awake and your lashes just look so much longer. Everyone needs this mascara in their life. It is a lifesaver. And then for lips, I don't usually, like when I'm going to work and stuff, I don't typically wear lipstick because I know I'll just get it everywhere and I'll end up looking like a hot mess like a couple hours into my shift. But when I do, and I go for a look like this, I usually do something more natural. So typically do a nude lipstick, maybe some gloss. I'm going to use uh, Maybelline lipstick, and it's in the shade Daringly Nude. It just looks like this. I love these lipsticks, they're so creamy and they're so easy to put on. And then I'll go over it with a gloss. I'm just going to use the this Bare Minerals gloss. It's in the shade Forbidden. Not least, I'm just going to give my face a little bit of a spray. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Whew. 
that is my updated I guess everyday makeup routine it's pretty simple not a lot of products still looks nice and natural it's something you can easily wear on an everyday basis sometimes if I want to zhuzh it up a bit I will just take some of the bronzer that I put on my face and I just pop it on my lid and I will also take some of the highlighter and just pop that in like my inner corners of my eye just to make them look a little bit brighter and like I said sometimes I will also just put on a little bit of eyeliner and then I'm usually good to go. It's low maintenance but you still look put together kind of look. So thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while since I've had consistent uploading but I'm hoping that I can get my act together and start uploading some more like I was before. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me. I promise I will be uploading a lot more in the future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video.